Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where today we are going to be installing valves on my F10 535i exhaust. I am so excited. It's going to sound so good when I want it to sound good and it's going to be quiet when I want it to be quiet and I cannot say how excited I am to finally get the exhaust setup that I've been thinking about for a very, very, very long time. As you guys know, I've been looking for a setup that doesn't have any drone but also sounds good and really there is no in between. There is no medium. So we have to go both extremes and the only way we can do that is with a set of valves. So I'll show you the valves. We'll unbox them. We'll put I'm on and we're gonna see what it sounds like so let's get right into it So yes, this is my 2013 BMW F10 535i. And right now, what it has is a catless downpipe, an RVG performance catless downpipe, which sounds oh so good. It has a stock resonator and it has some thrush turbo mufflers. I made a video about these. Click it on the pop-up right here or in the description down below to watch the video of how this setup sounds. It sounds so good, but it's not exactly what I want. Like I said in the intro, I want something with a little bit more sound, actually a lot more sound, but no drone. And that's just not really possible with this car. For some reason, this car, I've gotten some comments as well from a lot of my viewers. A lot of you guys are telling me that this car is just really hard to get a sound that sounds really good without drone so i'm going to put valves on it it's just the easiest solution with valves i can open it up and i will have pretty much a straight pipe and then when i close it oh it'll go through the stock mufflers hopefully that's the plan at least i'm going to leave the catalyst down pipe on maybe leave the resonator on and put the valves right after the resonator with a downturn so that when i open the valves it just goes straight out there and when i close the valves it'll go through the stock mufflers which i plan to put on with these i got these exhaust tips from dh gate <laughs> i'll put a link to them in the description when i bought these it was around 80 dollars and more or less 70 ish dollars for shipping but it's okay because most of these tips which i wanted four inches most of these four inch tips on the market are around 200 dollars each so i guess 150 for both is not bad and each one comes in this cool little box they came in one big box um and it has some writing I, I i don't know what that says but let's open them up Check these out. I love these. These are so cool. These are four inches from end to end on the carbon. I would assume that this is fake carbon fiber, but honestly, when I put it in the light and I feel it and I knock on it and I look underneath, this could be real carbon fiber. My first assumption obviously is that it's fake, but it has the real depth of real carbon fiber. It has the touch. It has the thickness of it. It has the look. I don't know, but man, if it's fake carbon fiber, they did an excellent job. They're not too long because since I want to put these on the stock mufflers, they can't protrude too long. The other ones, I actually bought another set and they were too long and I could not put them on. So I had to, to return those and buy these instead. These are much shorter and they look amazing. Of course, look at that. And of course, you see the actual tip wrapped in the carbon fiber. I just love this. I love how they look. So let's go put these on and it's going to look so good with those tips. I'm so excited. But as for the valves, I've opened them and I've taken a little peek at them. But you guys will get the full look right now with me. Let's do it. So here they are. These are the valves. I got these on eBay for around 100 ish dollars for both of them which is not bad at all here we have the control unit and the little remote you can see the remote right there the cable and everything cigarette lighter i'm not going to be using the cigarette lighter instead of what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to cut the cigarette lighter off and tap in directly to the fuse box and put a ground somewhere the little remote right here has a little cover you can slide it and you can open the valves and close the valves here's the control box this will go somewhere in the back i i suppose i'll put this around there and cigarette lighter of course like i said i'll just cut this off and tap in directly to the fuse box with a fuse jumper tap whatever you call it one of these so here's the first valve the they're pretty heavy. They're pretty beefy things, but they look really good. They feel very good. I've checked them everywhere. There's no pinholes or anything. Everything is made very well. It looks very solid. Here's the actual valve. I'm going to wire it up and we're going to see if they work. So when the valves are closed, I'll put the, the stock mufflers on this side. And when the valves are open, I'll put the downturn right here so that it goes straight out and hopefully bypasses the muffler as much as possible. And here's the second one. It's the exact same thing as the first. And these are electric. These are not vacuum actuated like a lot of the other ones on YouTube are. I kind of like that more. It's an easier install way way easier and I feel a little bit more reliable. I don't know. I don't know. I just kind of like the idea of having an electric cutout that I can control with my little electric remote. So you join me in the trunk where I'm going to be accessing the fuse box and finally being able to wire up the valves so that we can actually open and close them instead of having them just closed right now. So we have the control unit like I've shown you earlier and we have the cable. So let's untie this. So what I'm going to be doing is you can see I've opened up the fuse box and I've taken out fuse right here. It's 15 amp. And so what I've done is I've connected this to a jumper or a tap, however you'd like to call it. And I'm going to be plugging this in and connecting this having been cut straight to this so that we can get power from there and I will ground it somewhere else around the car. So what I'm going to do now instead of taking everything out is I'm just going to plug this into this and test out to see if it even works. Also, real quickly, 
I'd love to give a shout out to Grant Johnson, who's not affiliated with this channel, but he inspired me to do this. And I've talked to him on Instagram a couple of times and asked him some questions about this. And he has been very helpful to get me started in doing this because because he uploaded a video that inspired me to do this and go check out his channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the description down below. All right. So we've had a bit of change in plans after trying the fuse box jumper multiple times and trying to find different grounds and everything. It just was not working. It just was not working out in our favor at all. So what we decided to do is reconnect the cables back to the cigarette lighter, put the cigarette lighter here, and we're going to keep the cigarette lighter here for the time being. I don't really dislike it. Honestly, we plugged it in just everything back the way it was. So it's literally plug and play. We've plugged in both just to test them. And when I press the remote, you can see the valves are actually working. And by the way, you have to hold the button because if I just tap it, it kind of opens like halfway, which I guess this could make it medium loudness. I don't know. You hold it and it works perfectly. It works. We're really happy about this. The cigarette lighter wasn't our optimal choice, but looking at it and thinking about it, it's fine. You know, and if we ever have to remove it for, for whatever reason and have to use something else, it's right there. So we might as well just leave it there, but it looks fine. Only problem is right now the cable isn't long enough. We have the extender cable for one of them, which reaches all the way down here, but the other one is like this long. That's not long enough. So we're gonna have to find an extension for that after this. We're gonna take it to the muffler shop and put it on. And by the way, underneath the car, I'll show you which grommet I used. There's three grommets on the bottom here. One there, one here, and one here. I took off this one. You can see there's a hole there. That goes to the top right behind the battery. So that's the perfect place to be able to fish the cables through for your valves. And I believe the valves will probably go somewhere around here maybe, or a little bit further back. I don't know. We'll figure that out when we get there. The cables go through there perfectly. The battery is like right over here. Actually, the battery is like right in this thing. So that's right behind the battery. It's a perfect place to feed the cables through. So there's nothing really else left to do other than to take this to the muffler shop and get them on as well as the stock mufflers put back on with the four inch tips. All right, so we are back and we have finally everything wired up. The valves are on. Check that out. They look so good. They sound even better and they work flawlessly. And the wiring, I've shown you guys the grommet underneath. I put it through that grommet. I put the wires through here, taped it here just to be safe, just to keep it there. I routed it here, over here, over the battery, down here, and I've spooled it up right here so that everything is neat and tight and nothing is getting squished by anything else. And it works out very nicely. I put everything around here as well, down here, and here's the main control box. Also, I had to buy an extender for the valve that's furthest away because it just not, would not reach. So I bought a little three foot extender. I'll put a link to that in the description in case you guys need that as well. This is part of the extender right here. Everything works, everything is awesome. Like I told you all, I'm going to use the cigarette lighter instead. It's just easier. So I'm gonna finish closing this up and get everything ready to finish. And so now that all that is done, we can go ahead and close this up and we can finally plug this in. So I'm gonna hold this right here while I close this. There we go. I'm gonna open this up and plug this in right here, just like so. There we go. You can see the little light at the bottom. Perfect, it's plugged in, everything is good to go. Let's get our little remote, our trusty little remote, and let's listen for the valves. Closed. Open, awesome. All right, well, that pretty much concludes the install. I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a sneak peek of what this sounds like, because in the next few videos will be the entire sound check. So this is gonna be a sneak peek of the sound. So let's go ahead and hear just a little bit of it.
And so there you have it. That is the sound check of these valves on my F10 535i. What you heard when the valves were open is my MHD Stage 2 tune with soft pops. They're pretty loud and I absolutely love them. But that is just a little sneak peek. I know I didn't get to show y'all all the sound or every angle, but that will be in a future video. So of course, the only way to find out when that video releases is to subscribe and hit the bell icon. So that way you get notified when that video drops because that is gonna be a very, very fun video. And I know a lot of y'all are excited for it. But this is just a little sneak peek of the valves. The valves work great. I absolutely love them. No drone when they're closed, a lot of drone when they're open, but that is the point. That's what I want when I'm cruising on the highway, going to work or something. And I just want some peace and quiet. I close up the valves and I hear absolutely nothing. It sounds stock from the inside. Side. When the valves are open, it is loud, it is rowdy. I love it. This is the best setup for sure that I have for my 535i. If you guys have a different setup, leave a comment down below. I'd love to see what y'all have and I'd love to see what y'all think of this setup. And maybe if some of y'all go over to this setup because seriously, it is the best of both worlds and it looks amazing. You have my tips right there. They're a little bit dirty, but it looks absolutely amazing. You can see my reflection there. Check out the valves underneath, of course. I love it. I am so in love with this setup. I think it looks great. It sounds great and it functions as intended and exactly how I want it. So with that being said, I guess that's it. Make sure to subscribe. So like I said, you guys know when that video drops, it's gonna be a very fun video. But until then guys, until the next one, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to catch you all in the next one. Take care.